Why am I Sunflowers? This is Sunflower 41 XD, and this is going to be the start of my new series called The Hardest Weapons and Attachments to Use in Black Ops 2. Now, the DSR 50, I'm, I'm not joking, it is just an amazing weapon, but there are some attachments that are a little bit stupid for it, especially if you combine ACOG and Suppressor together. I'll be looking at each attachment one by one. So the first attachment I put on this weapon is the suppressor. The suppressor makes this weapon really hard to use because you have to aim either, like you have to get a one shot kill, you have to aim for the head or the upper chest area. I'm pretty sure the arms, you know, they're, they're, if you hit them, it's, it has to be a two shot kill as demonstrated here. But yeah, it just makes it that little extra harder, but it can also help you out, I guess, because if you put the suppressor on and you're trying to use, you know, it just helps you with like aiming down sights and stuff like that. Like if you really need to go for those headshots and you train for that. But I wouldn't recommend it, no way, unless you, you know, creative and stuff. But yeah, the next attachment I've got for this weapon is the ACOG sight. This is just not recommended for a DSR-50 because it just sways so much. And to use an ACOG, you have to be fairly precise of where you aim. And... Well, if you can quickscope with the ACOG sight, then you are just a legend. But these two combinations are deadly if used properly, and they can just piss you off so much. If you don't use them properly, though. So, I've created a highlight reel, as you can see, and this will show you how to use a DSR-50 properly with ACOG and suppressor. Now, I know I've said this before, but to use this weapon efficiently, you have to aim for the head or the upper body. Now, just watch here. As I hit him right, yep, in the back, which is, you know, upper area. And the same with this guy. I missed the first shot, but then... Ready? Boom! Headshot. And now, for some pew 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 pew! Now, I got lucky in this clip where I miss his head and upper body right there. I hit him in the arm. Luckily, I survived though, but usually in encounters like this, you wouldn't. And then, bam, he shoots me, I flinch a bit, and go straight for the head shot. Boom! Now, if you're going to use this class, I suggest using it just, you know, for fun, I guess. It's not really a class that I use if I'm going try hard or anything. But if you get really good at this, you can do anything in this game. You can just wreck anyone. Now, I'm not going to suggest any secondary weapons to use with this class, or any perks or tacticals or lethals. But if I was, I would suggest with the secondary weapons to use either a Cap 40 or a B23R, only because if you miss the first shot and you're in a close quarter situation, you could switch to the Cap 40 because it's you know automatic. It's an automatic weapon. Or you can select to the B23R, because, yeah, that's a really great pistol. Um, perks. Fast hands or toughness. Um, what else? Perk 3 would be maybe tactical mask or, what's it called? Engineer, yep. Um, perk 1, ghost, definitely. Or lightweight. Um, tacticals would be either a stun grenade or maybe an EMP grenade. I'm not going to recommend any lethals because that's just your choice. They're all pretty much do the same thing. Or some of them are, you know, stationary, the other ones you can chuck, you know, throw. But yeah, use this class if you just, you know, want to have some fun with your friends or you just want to annoy the crap out of people. And, you know, I wouldn't recommend this as a try-hard class or anything, but if you're really good at it, then definitely use it as a try-hard class. Also, drop a like if you want me to keep this series going, because I'm really excited to keep this continuing. And if you are, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like. Thank you, and goodbye my sunflowers.